Hello everyone and welcome back to Timberborn. We are on episode 3. And our first episode we got our district set up. Our second episode we are like doing massive tree plantings and massive, well this crops were here before, but massive plantings were here and plantings for everything. And as I started the episode, I'm going to let this play on normal speed, is we have a drought coming in three days. So this will be on day 15, I guess it'll hit. Day 12, 15, 15, I think it'll hit on day 15. It always hits like in the morning or like when the sun comes up type of thing. So we have three days, which is okay. All these are going to be planted very soon. These are a bit of an iffy thing, but if you remember... One thing we didn't do is we never built our dam here. That's going to be the next thing is we got to start working on floodgates, which we're, so, eh, we're not quite there and we can't do levees yet. Dams are good because if you remember in the last episode, this net, this little area here where my mouth is going across, we did not lose water. The water stayed, which means that this will stay green. This will stay green. <clears throat> now these crops, these will be ready. These will be ready in two days. These are ready now. So we, yeah, I think we're going to be fine for all of them, actually. Because these take four days. Some of them not quite, but we should be fine. Because the way that the game works, as I've explained it before, I believe is that if a crop is fully grown, ready to need to be harvested, even if there's a drought and it turns brown, it can still be harvested up to a certain amount of days. I think it may be three days. The berry bushes, again, things will die. Like these little seedlings will eventually die off. Speaking of that, let's fill the rest of this in with our birch trees. Because as they're harvesting, I want to make sure I have a full supply of... Oops. What? Wait a minute. Uh, what? How did, it, how did it even allow you to plant them down in the water? That kind of makes no sense. That's really odd. But this is fully planted. So this thing here, this guy, has literally nothing to do. So we're going to pause this forester. We're going to open this one back up. And he should come right over there. E, e days. E days. I could rename all these guys, but it would just be uh. And I'm still surprised we don't. we only still have 11. We don't have more than 11. But this is not the time now to start building more <laughs> that we do not want to do oh look at that are these are oh they're not quite built yet soon they'll be built soon how are we doing on water water we're okay i almost want to open this one back up oh we have one a baby born yes awesome <laughs> the food thing is going to be good now even though this is going to drain away some of this will stay green i believe well, we're going to find out very, very soon. Normally, I don't mess around with berries because we have so many right now. But it still is a staple food that will prevent our beavers from going hungry. And it will always count towards your basic hunger need. Which is a good thing. <laughs> um, even though any other type of food that you eat, the three different types, um, will still give you your basic hunger need. Berries will always give you your basic hunger need. And we're going to be in drought as soon as this day comes through. And look, guess what? Oh, these are these are just planted. But these will make it. These, will, yeah, we're going to be fine. Look at our food. Tons of food. Our water, again, isn't ever going to really change. I think you can peak at 150, but we're fine. Yeah, we're okay. We're good. Planks, we're making planks. We've got tons of wood now. Well, not tons. We have a good amount of wood. The maples are at 31%, which means we only have another... Uh, 16 days, 17 days for them. Pine's doing good. These are all birch. And I think we can plant just a couple... Nope. A couple more birch here. And I think that's it. Now, the ones down in here where there's this, this like, the barren land, it, they'll never get planted because it, they'll just die, but it's fine. Once you cross off, you'll never see it. Surprised that this one got planted. Interesting. Doesn't matter. So we are... Oh, we're in the drought, right? Because of the way that this is set up, um, 
it's a bit not weird isn't the word but you you end up saving you have a lot of water because you have these big deep these big lakes that this one's now finally drying up which will dry up all the way back to here now as i said before is this tree is at oh this one's this one after this one here so this tree will die in 11 days these are all the same day cycle so a tree will survive for 11 days now i don't know if we're ever going to get to the point where we have a drought that's 11 days long that would be pretty crazy and up in here this crop here will die in 1.4 days so these won't make it but this is this is harvestable so this one will be able to be picked this one won't 1.4 days yeah we'll really be right on the edge of that which this would be a good thing to have an irrigation tower really but we don't need it at the moment last drought we had was only three days i think this little pool of water never went away we never lost it which means all the berries all this stuff just kept on going and you have one more day left this isn't gonna this won't drain out in one day i'm almost tempted to do something with these berries but i don't really i don't really find need for that at the moment we can plant a couple more trees like here I think that's all of the ones, the original ones that were there. But water, water's, water's a bit of a, we're getting to 105, we might have to upgrade. How much does the, um, the big water tanks? They need gears, we don't have gears. We don't have gears. What can we research that would be floodgates? I don't think we necessarily need them yet. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I guess you could put it here. But the problem is we're not pumping water here. I don't want this to be dammed up. I want, I want, I don't, know, I don't know. That's tricky. Maybe down here. How much do floodgates cost? Or a levy you can't change. A floodgate is 10, is 150. We can do a floodgate. But then again, a dam would almost do the same thing. This is actually cheaper to do a floodgate than a dam. How many planks? We don't have any planks, though. I think what we're going to do, what I want to... Oops. Shoot, I hit the way wrong button. I want to dam this off. Because that'll make this area down here... Um, what What is the word? <laughs> I don't know what the word is. Uh, let's delete this. Let's just delete those two. They're not really doing anything, honestly. Fertile. That is the word. It will make this area here fertile. Get rid of that. And we have the... Well, we don't actually have that many logs, but... Yeah, we don't actually have that many logs left. Because they've all been harvested, right? That might be a bit of a tricky thing. Yeah, we're at 89%, though. Oh, and the water has returned. It's odd that it returned at night. I guess it returned during the day and just finally got down here. But we didn't, we didn't lose anything. These are still growing away. These are still growing. These are going to be grown... That's at 34%. 76%. And the birches grow. Um, basically, it's eleven percent per day, so we have another two days for these to grow. But there's a whole pile of them that are that are at seventy-eight percent. So, and this guy's they're planting like crazy right now. Planting like crazy, and that's good because as they get planted, they're gonna be well. Obviously, we'll get harvested. Look how they're planting, they're planting so quickly. We're gonna work at getting this dam, this dam dam built. This forester, I don't think we actually even need this here anymore. We don't need to have two gathering flags. This one can go away. And I think what I actually wanna do is I wanna plant, just plant one blueberry here. And then, um, I don't know, we have so many blueberries though. I don't know if we need to keep, well, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do that. I just wanna get this, someone working in here oh someone literally just died of old age let's cut both of these i just want to get this last one built which it should build any second i just want to get one more planted all right that one's going to go back to pause this one's going to go back to on and this one's going to go back to on and it should there we go so we someone we had died of old age so we kind of lost someone there 
Um, this person grew up, but it's still we're still down. We're lacking workers. Yeah, I know we're lacking workers. I don't know if we need. Yeah, they're starting to come in now, so we actually do need this many harvesting. We have nothing being harvested here. This is kind of a wash. Oh, our science is up. Let's see once what makes sense to research for, research for science. We let us to get start working on some decorations. Two one. Two one. What? That's the same exact price, but you get double it. But the two one makes more sense. Two three, three two. Hmm. So we we could do that's five hundred though. We can't do that. Um, I think we should. What is the problem here? Is this is this one full? Seriously? What about the one below it? Okay, they're not all full. We have a lot of stuff. It's mainly all these freaking berries. Yeah, I don't know what to do with the berries. I mean, I guess it's just like a um, an insurance policy in a sense. But I think what we need to do, where we're on time wise, is I think we need to get a few more houses going in here, which maybe we can do something crazy like. Um, I actually want this, the double lodge. Can I put that on top of that? That would be kind of really insane to do that. <laughs> um, I think we can tuck it. We can tuck it like, uh, maybe we just put it, well, no, I don't want to do that. I got to just tuck it back in here. Yeah, you could put two here. Yeah. I wonder if it makes sense to fill this whole area with housing and put the terraces up here or something. Because this will house six. I don't really need six. Or actually, we'll end up getting seven because one of these only is, is lacking a slot. None of them are two. We got one at 50. Oldest one's 54. So we're okay. We're okay. We're at six. Now this can't improve until we start adding more things, which I think the next thing we want to add, it would be a campfire. Maybe two campfires would be nice. All right, we're up to that. Oh, yes. Yes, look at that. We... Okay, this I want to plant a birch right there, and that should be the the whole area now filled. Because the idea in my eyes with this is is that they're planting at a rate of. Oh, I don't want to prioritize. I want to go back down to. Wait, these are birch. Yeah, I'll go back down to birch. Well, I mean, these are all oh, these are ready. Oh, this is awesome. The wood is going to start flowing in. Now, boards, yeah, that's the thing. They don't want to all go to boards. But all you do is once you get to the, or planks, once you get to a certain amount of planks, all you do is you come here and you just pause the mill. That's all you got to do. 100% efficiency. We're doing good. These berries are just kind of taking their sweet time, right? What's this guy doing? Oh, they're sleeping. Oh, they're hanging out on the, the terrace. That's cool. All right. It's looking pretty good. If I do say so myself. I always like taking screenshots. It's cool. So we're moving right along, actually. You know, we could get a few more people to fill, like, this force. I, I don't know. I wanna, the next thing I want to do, though, is this is doing fine. This is fine. Like, we're, we're perfectly... Well, we're doing fine now. The only thing is, I just want to make sure. Yes, this is one thing I did not do. This area is not marked for tree cutting, which is a no-no. Because we want this whole area marked for tree cutting. All of it. Because these guys now are going to start coming and cutting. You can't, you can't prioritize what they cut. But the pine gives you two logs. This birch gives you one. So you want, to, you want these to be cut down first. 
Now, can you prioritize that? You can. Can you? I don't know if you can prioritize that. I don't think you can. I don't think you can't prioritize how they cut the trees down. This is cool how they're, they're kind of being, they're, they're being planted in an arc because they're harvested in an arc, right? Well, kind of in an arc. Like they don't just go line by line by line. They don't go in an arc like this. See why she'll go here, then there, and then it'll go down here and then come back. How are we doing on this damn, damn, damn? Working away. See, we only have one person working in the, the factory right now. And I think what we got to do right now is I'm going to, oh, we don't even have anybody working here. What? Did someone die? Oh, someone just died. That's okay. We're going to actually close that off and open this up for a couple more people because might as well because we don't need these to be grown. We have plenty of food for now and I want to just let these go. Now, I wish they'd put something in the game that would use the berries. Maybe something making it into like a jam that you could add to the bread. Maybe like to add that to the bread recipe. Because obviously once you start having crops like this, what are they lacking? What were they lacking? One of these is really lacking something. That was so... Did you see that? What was it lacking? Nothing. They're all are up to up to snuff, if you will. I want these to get built too. Or maybe second priority. I want this to be first priority still. Because this needs to get done for the next drought. Because so the way the way it works is like so every drought counts as a cycle. Now it's I'm sure if you go online and go to like the wiki or something, it'll tell you the cycle based on the map in the in the difficulty level you have. Because um, before it was 14, then I think it was at 17 maybe. Because just as forecast unknown, I don't know how you ever get that to know what the forecast is. I I don't know. But it's okay. This will slowly build. Not a big deal. These guys are. Yeah, we're doing good on wood. Well. Relatively good. Once we, if we get to a hundred planks, I'm going to stop because we don't need a hundred planks. We have one person being, is this built yet? This is not built yet. It's because we only have one builder. So it's taking forever, but I don't want to cut any of these other jobs because we need them. Actually, you know what? No, we don't. We don't need two water pumpers right now. So we could have two. There we go. Perfect. So I want to get this stuff built. He's going back to work. Yeah, this method here I think is working out a lot better. Is you prioritize planting. So as soon as one is plant is, is harvested, it'll take it back. Watch. Bag it back, and then it'll come and plant it right away. And then boom, we're already gonna be well, it's at zero percent, but you know what I mean. Very quickly. And then once this gets all fully grown, maybe we'll come in here and we'll put that back up. But the thing is though, we're at 442. That's what I want to look at. I want to. I don't know. I don't know if they will take berries to satisfy hunger and then take carrots to satisfy nutrition, or do they just take carrots that satisfies both. That I don't know that. But we'll find out because we're at 442, and three of these storage units are completely. F oh my gosh, are completely full. How is that possible? Oh my gosh, I think the next thing we need to do is invest in this. Can we? Be we're not at 250. Sorry, we're not at 250 yet. So I don't even have a gear workshop up yet, which would be the next thing. But they take planks, and then you almost want to have it set up a bit differently. So we're just going let it, to let it roll like this. I think we're doing quite well, actually. Get these fireplaces built. Uh, get this built. That'll help the next time we have a drought. How many more do we got to go? Yeah, they're building it now. Yeah, we have one person that's a child. How are we doing on this? This isn't going to be built until this is built, I don't think, right? Not that we need a... Well, we don't have a road going here now. This will be built soon. That's 12. It almost makes sense to, to connect these. I don't know. Because they're running it all... They're really running all the way around. 
Logs are okay. Planks, I think I want to let this one get built. Come on, is someone going to come and build it? Ah, uh, come on. So we actually kind of have like a double, a double dam system, which basically sh what should, not basically, what it should mean is when the next drought we have is this pool of water should last as long as this pool of water. That's the theory behind it. And this is going to be built. Perfect. And that's going to start, should start equalizing. Yeah, see. The water physics in this game are pretty like good. Because on the right hand side, it's still high. And it's creating a rippling effect going back upstream. But eventually it's going to level itself out. It should, right? Yeah, there you go. This is rushing through. Maybe it won't because you have two dams. So it's a bit wonky. But you know what? It's still holding the water back, right? That's all we care about. Look at these trees. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's just ridiculous how many trees. Now, I don't think we actually need too far. Whoa, hold on. Your beavers are happier than ever. You were she's this new bill. Seven. Awesome. That's so awesome. Because we got our little. Look at that. What a view of our little campers having a little powwow at the fire. So awesome. And I think the next thing we want to do is we want to get this built, which we're almost there already. And obviously we need to build that. I think we're okay. Some more people would be nice. I want to, get, I want to start working on potatoes. So we need two workers for the farmhouse. And then we need two people for the grill. Or we're sorry, we need one person for the grill. And um, then we might start working on, I don't know what. But our stockpiles are going great right now. Yeah, we're going we're doing we're doing really well for for right now. And I think on that note we're going to slow the speed down to speed 1 and we're going to call it an episode. We made a lot of progress. A lot of it was visual progress, waiting for things to grow, but this is so cool how this arc. So they're going to collect they're going to chop these trees, then they'll get replenished in an arc arc arc. It's just the way that I mean, it's not in a line, right? These are being harvested. We got planks going in, we got water going in, we got berries going in. And yeah, stay tuned for the next episode because we are going to work on potatoes and getting the grill up and running. And then maybe we'll add another scientist or something. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification button so you don't miss an episode of Season 2 of Timberborn. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you in the next episode.